Okay, guys, let's do our first little motion camera animation project before we get more advanced. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our library, and we're going to add a couple drop zones, okay? So let's apply one drop zone, apply another drop zone. That gives us two. Now let's go ahead and add a camera. And let's dolly our camera back a little bit like this. Let's select our drop zones and move them apart. Now we've got these two drop zones. Now we need to occupy them. So let's open up our layers and go to your media tab. You don't want to bring, with drop zones, you don't want to bring the media into your project. You go to your media tab, hit the plus key, and you can bring in your pictures this way. Hit import and it'll bring them into your project, but yet they're not in your project, okay? So select your drop zone, go to your inspector. You can see under properties we have a drop well, but you can't drag and drop. You go to your two menu and select the picture. Then you can scale it up from there. Select our second drop zone, add our second picture, and scale it up. Now as you can see, fixed so we can see both these, we have two pictures in our scene, okay? So, let's go ahead and select our camera, turn on our record button, and I'm going to, as you notice in the position, I'm going to jog it one time to zero and then back. That sets a keyframe as you can see. I'm going to go ahead 15 more frames by entering 15 in the box. It'll jump me to 15 frames. I'm going to jog this again as you can see. That sets another keyframe. Jog it once and then back to the original position. Sets a keyframe. Okay, so now let's go back 15 more frames to frame 30. Let's select the picture we want to zoom in first and just use our little trick from the first movie and hit the F key. That will zoom in that picture. Let's dolly it out. Just frame it up a little bit like that. Under position, again, jog it once and back again to the original position and that sets a keyframe. Let's go to frame 45, which is 15 more frames ahead and jog our position again and that sets another keyframe. Let's go to frame 60, 15 more frames. Now let's zoom back out to our starting position. which is right there. Okay, so let's jog it again. As you can see, that little diamond becomes solid. It sets a keyframe. Let's go up to frame 75, jog it again, and go back. Let's go up 15 more frames to 90. Select our other picture, hit the F key, frame in on that, but we've already framed in on that one, so let's frame in on the second one. The F key, it frames in. Let's dolly out and frame it up jog our position to set a keyframe and there we go let's go to frame 105 which is 15 more frames up jog it to set another keyframe go to frame 115 and let's go back out to our normal position or starting position rather not not extremely accurate but it's close enough okay now let's set another keyframe by jogging our position keyframe Let's go to frame 130 and jog it one more time. Turn off our record button. When we play this back, we go to this one, we'll come back out, and we'll go to this one. But I want to hold. When we zoom in on them pictures, I want to hold on them pictures, okay? So in order to do that, let's open our keyframe editor. Okay, let's select our camera from your layers tab. Okay, now you'll see your camera. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select my drop zone 1. You can see it's kind of loopy, okay? But if I select and drag around all these keyframes, right click, change the interpolation to constant, I think that's a little bit smoother. So let's do the second, the same thing for this one. We'll select, drag all these for drop zone, for the drop zone, and change the interpolation, interpolation to constant. Okay, now let's select our camera. Now you can see our camera animation here. You can see the blue line right here as it zooms in, and it comes right there to the peak, and then it zooms back out, but we want it to hold. So let's go ahead and click on our keyframe, on our keyframe line here, if I can get it to add a keyframe, and let's add one to this one as well. Now we're going to select these three 
keyframes beforehand, right click, interpolation, constant. Now you can see that makes everything straight. So I'm going to take this keyframe and bring it down here to line it up with that line. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Now as you can see when we zoom in, it holds, then it zooms back out. And it's going to zoom in on this one. So let's do the same thing to this one. Let's have it hold. So let's click a keyframe. Right there. We'll do the same thing for the red. Change our interpolation of the keyframe before them to constant. And let's go ahead and line everything up to be straight. Like so. Like so. Now that ought to hold there for a second. As you can see, it does. It'll zoom in. It'll hold. And if you want to stretch that length out, just select your keyframes and drag them out a little bit. But of course, this will make the zoom out much more abrupt, so you might want to take it and bring it out some. And there we go. If we play our project from the beginning, we'll zoom in, we'll hold, we'll zoom back out, zoom in on this one, hold, and we'll zoom back out and hold. So there you go. That's a quick project in motion using camera animation, using your drop zones, your keyframes, and your keyframe editor. Next time, we'll get a little bit more complicated. Hope you learned something. Thanks, guys.